Hey guys, my name is Jay. I am a solution engineer for Nginx based in Melbourne, Australia. In this video, uh, what I'm going to show is how you can install Kubernetes Ingress Controller with Nginx Plus. So let's get started. So there are a few things you need before you can follow along with this specific session. So first and foremost, you probably need a Kubernetes environment. Now you can go to GKE or AKS, any of those ready ones available, or you can go out and just spin up a virtual machine and install a single node Kubernetes environment yourself. And that is exactly what I've done. If you wanted to do that, I have got a link out here. You can run a simple command as a root on the machine and it will create a Kubernetes environment locally on the virtual machine. Second thing, what you'll require is Helm installed on that machine. The reason we need Helm is because I'm going to do the installation utilizing Helm, Helm repository. So that's why you'd need Helm. To install Helm, all you need to do is follow these simple commands. Uh, the machine I have is a Ubuntu 18.04. You can use any. You'd have uh, similar commands for uh, whichever flavor of Linux you're using. But yeah, this is what I used. All I've done is simply install Helm on it. And the third thing, and the most important thing you need to implement the Nginx Plus as Ingress Controller is the license files. I've already loaded my license files in the machine over here. If you are already an Nginx Plus subscriber, you'd know where to get the license files from. However, if you're just testing out to see how Plus would add value in your environment, what I'll do is encourage you to go to nginx.com slash trials, and from there on, you can go out, uh, put in your details, and we'll send you out a key and a certificate, which enables you to go out and pull the Nginx Plus binary or image or whatever it would be. Perfect. So let's jump to the command line. So every single step I'm going to run in this session today is already listed, documented on docs.nginx.com. So the first step uh, of the setup is to go out and create a image. So I'm going to build a ingress controller image for Nginx Plus. And for that, we'll need to pull the repository. So very first step is to clone the Nginx Kubernetes ingress controller repository, which I'll do at this step here. We'll just go out and pull the repo. Let's give it a couple of seconds. Ensure that it's there. Yep, let's jump into the repo. And then you essentially have to check out the right version. So the, the latest version of Nginx we have right now is uh, 1.11.2, and let me just go ahead and check that version out. Essentially, it'll just go out and set the head to the latest release, which is 1.11.2. Perfect, that is exactly what we wanted to do. Uh, the second step for Nginx Plus, uh, as I'm strolling along on this page on, my, uh, on the screen here, is that you'd need the cert and the key in the same directory as the Kubernetes inverse. So for that, I've already got the files available on this machine. So with a simple command, I'm going to copy those files into this specific directory. And then uh, all that remains is to go out and run the make command to go out and build the image. Now, some of you may not have make available on the machine. If you don't have it, it's a simple one line install, sudo apt-get install make for Ubuntu or a similar command if uh, it's a different flavor of Linux. But install make and that's all you need. Uh, I mentioned earlier that I've already got Helm installed and yeah, that's all, that's all you need. So let's get started. So in terms of running the command to create the image, let's just inspect the command before we actually run it. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it in the stack editor here. And you can see it's making a Debian image plus. So this tag uh, defines what sort of image it's going to go out and create. So if I scroll down on the onto this page over here, it's got definition of what sort of image that command would build. So essentially what we are doing in this step is creating this image. It's for building a Debian based, Debian based Nginx plus image. If you wanted to utilize Nginx plus app protect, which is the WAF or the security feature, you'd need to go out and create a different image, which comes with preloaded module of Nginx app protect into it. Or if you wanted to run this in OpenShift, there is other commands or other images which you could go out and build. However, for sake of this demo, it's going to use the, the simple Debian image plus. Important step for that is the step we did previously to have that key and cert available in the same directory. So let's just go ahead and run this command. Now, before I jump and run the command, there's one thing I'd like to bring to your attention that in this scenario, 
Uh, if you can see this prefix to the image name, that is the prefix for the repository which you want to push out to. However, in my case, I'm not going to push out to any external repository. I'm going to build this image locally. And when I create the ingress controller, it's going to pull from the local repository. So I'm going to keep it simple. However, if you've got a repository configured, got a Docker Hub account or any other repository, you could put the credentials here, log in, and provide that specific details. Perfect. Let's just go out and create this image. So I'm in the ingress controller directory, and I'm just going to run this make command, which is going to go out and create an image. However, I'm just going to take a pause before I go out and run that command. And what we're going to do is look at Docker images. And when you do that, you can see that at the moment, I don't have Nginx ingress or Nginx plus ingress. So what's going to happen after this step is we're going to be able to see a image uh, which says Docker Nginx, uh, sorry, Nginx plus or uh, whatever name we give it in the next step. So Nginx plus ingress. Perfect. So let's just go out and run that command now. Copy and paste it from here. And, but it should take about a minute for it to install or create the image rather not install. So while it's doing that, let's just look and see what sort of resources we can find on, find on nginx.com. So you can go to nginx.com, click on products, click on nginx ingress controller. And from there you find there is plethora of material available. You can come down and view the specific details on why you use an ingress controller, what value it provides for your environment, uh, securing applications, managing traffic. There's links to multiple blogs and a lot of technical documentation, which is available out here as well. There's plenty of videos which you can refer to in terms of what value you will achieve from implementing Nginx Plus as an ingress controller. Also, there is a comparison model available over here as well where upon clicking, you can go out and see what added value you'd get when you're running Nginx Plus as an ingress controller as compared to the Nginx open source. So the image is still building, so it shouldn't take a lot longer. Come back, and there we go, the image is just finished building. So we come back to the docs.nginx.com and we'll have to progress to the next steps. Uh, the next step, the fourth step here being pushing the image to the repository. In our case, as I mentioned earlier, I'm just going to run this image locally. I'm not going to push it out to an external repository. So we will skip that step. But let's just go ahead and run the step of Docker images. And now you'll see that I've got Nginx plus Ingress as a image available in my list. Uh, the timestamp says 13 hours because I have run this image multiple times before, so it captures from that. But in your case, it'll probably say a few seconds or minutes or whenever you've created it. Perfect. So the next steps are to move on to installation with Helm. Uh, we're not going to do installation with Manifest, so we'll directly skip on to installation with Helm step. The very first step, of course, we've done these. However, uh, the step which we need to perform is add the Helm repository. So we'll copy the step from here, run it over here, hit enter and the repository should be added. Now we go out and update the Helm repo. And there we go, we've done. What steps we're gonna follow are for gonna be installing via Helm repository. And these are the steps which we will follow. This is for Nginx open source, this is for Nginx plus. Now, before I run that step, let's just copy that step over here. Copy it in my text editor down here and just look at what that step actually entails. So it's just do, going to do Helm install. This is the name it's going to take. Uh, this is the uh, this is a Helm repository, which we suggested it's going to pull the details from. Set controller image uh, repository. So this is a repository. So in, in your case, if you had access to say uh, external repository, those details would go over here. In our case, as I mentioned earlier, we're using the image from a local machine. So we just remove that and just use Nginx plus dash ingress. Now, this last command, setting certain configuration parameters is very essential. You, if you scroll down on this page, there is a lot of configuration parameters available based on what you wanted to enable and disable. So say things like if you wanted to enable snippets to extend your Nginx configuration, you could go out and do that. Enable certain policies, you could go out and do that as well. But for now, we're just gonna to stick to stock standard 
controller.nginx plus is equal to true. Let's go ahead and run that. And as expected, it com it's come back and said the Nginx ingress controller has been installed. So now let's just go ahead and see uh, if it's created a pod for us. And beauty, it has created a pod for us and it is in the state running. Now, let's just go ahead and confirm that the pod which is running is Nginx plus. And for that, we're gonna jump into the pod to inspect uh, the version of Nginx. So let's just jump in and have a look. CTL, exec-it, the name of the pod. Bash. Perfect. We jump, we're in the pod, you can see Nginx and it's the name of the pod here. The command which you run to get the version of Nginx is nginx free, and we'll run that in the pod. And as expected, it's come back to us and said, hey, the version you're running of Nginx in the pod is Nginx plus R23P1. So that is perfect. So it's Nginx plus. Exit out of the pod and everything's working fine. Now we've deployed ingress controller. Let's just go out and deploy a very simple application. The application I have is a simple tea and coffee application, uh, which we can utilize to run a simple test. However, the beauty of that application is that it comes bundled with the with the, the repo, which we cloned earlier. So you don't really have to go out and create any external applications. In this repo, I'm just gonna do LS and you can see that there's examples of custom resources, which we're gonna jump into and go out and deploy that. Wait, no, sorry, not that directory. Examples, custom resources. Within that, there is a lot of other examples you can implement, but uh, for the sake of this uh, demo, I'm just gonna to stick to the basic configuration. So CD, basic configuration. And in there, you'd see that it's got a few files. I'm just gonna make this a little bigger. Perfect, there we go. So let's in inspect the cafe.example.yaml file and what we have. And as you can see, it's got a few services, a few deployments, one replica of the T deployment over here, two replicas of the coffee deployment here and the service. Essentially uh, the ports, it's defined there and all the other stuff you need to get this service running. Uh, the image it's pulling is from Nginx demos and it's just a plain text-based image which would just return you uh, some text-based parameters in terms of what server you're connected to. Cat.cafe.secret is just a simple YAML file. Essentially, it's got the cert and the key for HTTP. Yes, it's just your SSL certificate. In our case, it's a self-signed certificate, which is fine for a demo purpose. Now, we've also got a third file in that directory. And let's do that. Let's look at that. And when we go in, so this is our virtual server file. Essentially, this goes out and it, it's got all the details of the upstream resources you can route via. If you wanted to implement specific policies, say for example, you wanted to enable rate limiting, or if you wanted to enable, uh, I'd say access control list, you can utilize those policies, enable those policies in this specific file here and avail those uh, controls. But we are not gonna go and enable any policies for this example. We just wanna go out and deploy this as is. So with that, let's start the deployment. kubectl apply dash r cafe.yaml, do that. kubectl apply cafe-secret.yaml. And the final one, cafe-virtualserver.yaml. And now if we come back and do kubectl pods, right? you could see that uh, from the YAML file, which we saw earlier, it had clearly indicated that the coffee service was going to run two replicas and the tea service was going to run one replica. And that's exactly uh, representing just that, what we have seen in the config file. Now, if you do kubectl get svc, you should be able to get the services which it's running as well. So, which is perfect for us. Let's just go ahead and test on how we can access one of these services. Now, to try and access this application in your environment might be slightly different. But in this case, I'm running this on a local IP, which is 10.1.1.4. And I'm just gonna use this port it has created out here to access the application. So let's just go ahead and do that. Now, also one thing to note is that it expects the hoda, uh, expects the header cafe.example. So it expects the host as cafe.example.com. So let's just go out and manually 
inject that header using a curl command. And the host is cafe.com and the address we're going to https dot slash slash turn dot one dot one dot four column and uh, we're going to go this IP here and I'm going to go T service and I need to put a flag in for insecure because the certificate what we have is self-signed and hit enter. And hey, as we expected, we get a return from the server serving us the T service. It's exactly what we expect. Now let's just go out and run that command using the coffee service and see what we get in response. Perfect, we've got a response there for the coffee service as well. So there you go, guys, as simple as that. Now what we've done is we've implemented Kubernetes ingress controller. We've run a very, very simple application to see how you can access the application via the ingress controller. If you wanted to apply specific policies, you could go out and apply it as well. But that's it for now. That's it for this video. And I'll speak to you again very soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.